Ladies and gentlemen, we have finally, finally got the auto stroke feature in the Avenger Resolve 19.1. So all you have to do is update your software to 19.1. Doesn't matter if it's free or paid, it's applicable to both. And let's see how to use it. Now, as you can see here, I've got an image of a woman and a solid color below it. How to apply the auto stroke to this image? All you have to do is go to the top left of your screen to the effects panel, then go to the effects tab, scroll below. And as you can see here, auto stroke. If you hover over it, you'll see it on the image. Just drag and drop this on your image. And there you have it, auto stroke and a drop shadow. Now, how do you customize these elements? Simply click on the image, go to the inspector tab on the top right of your screen, go to effects tab. And here you've got auto stroke. First, we have border width. If you go to the left, it will decrease it. Right side, increase it. Simple. Reset it, double click on the border width or whatever names you have. Simply double click on them to reset these. Okay, next is border edge. If I zoom in on the image, as you can see, the border is sharp. If you want to change that to make it smoother, simply click on the box and change it to circle and you'll have a much smoother outer stroke. Then you've also got linear and Gaussian option. You can go ahead with whatever preference you have. I'm going to go with simply circle, a smoother border. Then you can obviously change the color of the border to whatever you want. I'm simply going to go with white for now. Hit OK and we have the border ready. Then you have the obvious RGB controls if you want to change them. And finally, we've got the shadow controls. Now, in most of the cases, people are not going to want the shadow. So if you want to just remove it, make the blend to zero, totally on the left side. And if you want it, double click, reset or set any value that you want according to your preference. Then we've got light distance. Now, let's say there's a light falling on it and you've set a drop shadow for that, right? So if you want to increase or decrease the distance, you can change the slider according to that. I'm simply going to reset it by double clicking on it. Then we've got softness, how sharp or how soft you want the shadow to be. Okay, so if you take it to the left side, it will become much sharper. And if you take it to the right side, it will be much softer. I'll reset it again. And then finally, you can change the angle of the shadow. You can change it to the left, right, up, down, whatever you want. I'll reset it for now. And that's how you can change the controls of the outer stroke. But now you must be thinking that the outer stroke is only for the image. No, it's also for videos. Let's see how that's done. So now here you can see I've got this video of this woman listening to some music on her earphones. Now, if I go to the Fusion tab, as you can see, it's a green screen video, but I've removed the green screen from it. If you want to see how that's done, there's a video. I've already created that. It's on the top right of your screen right now. Okay, so I've removed the green screen from it. As you can see, there's checkers behind it, which means that the video is now transparent. If I go back to the edit page and simply drag and drop the out outer stroke on this video, as you can see, it's got the outer stroke and now if I play the video, see, the stroke moves with the video. That's so cool, right? Now, you can change the controls in the same way that I'd shown it for the image. And that's about it. That's how you can add outer stroke to your images and videos in the Mitchell Resolve 19.1, the latest version. And like I said, it's applicable to both the free and the paid version. You don't need to worry about it. Now, I hope you guys find this video useful. And if you do, make sure you like the video. It really helps the algorithm suggest this video to the needful people. Also, share this video with your friends and consider subscribing to the channel. I post such video editing tutorials, how to tech videos, tech reviews, I stream games occasionally, and I post some knowledgeable and informative YouTube shots. I also have a website where I post weekly blogs about all of the stuff that I just mentioned. And I also have a Gumroad shop where you can get access to motion graphic elements at a super affordable price. And that brings us to the end of the video, guys. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.